everybody, my name is City Shadow, and welcome to, again, the Infiltration Sailor Mars, the 15th act of Sailor Moon Crystal. We are headed into the Black Moon arc, ladies and gentlemen. And you know how we roll, we're going to put this stuff in the left-hand side of the screen this time, quite frankly, because that's the way everybody else does it, so why not I, okay? However, before we go any further, I want to address a few things. First of all, the copyright situation. I got an email from Viz Media. I posted it on my Twitter account. This says that right now, as of last Monday, there is no movement on the issue concerning them extending the 3-5 to five minute block that they have set up on the bot. Now, what does that mean? Well, basically it means that... Around three minutes of uninterrupted footage of the actual enemy, the bot will catch that and take into effect, which basically means copyright strike. Now, the reason, that is the reason, rather, that the second thing I want to talk about is going to come into effect, which basically means is that what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to do this in a way that... You're going to see about maybe three minutes of the actual anime. It might be a little bit shorter than that. Then we're going to cut a little bit. I'm going to do something. I'm going to just talk about the midway point of whatever it was. And then from then on in, we're going to watch the second half. We'll go from there. We're not going to use the entire anime. We're going to use little bits and pieces enough in order to give you a indication of what we're talking about. However, not too much in the way that you're not going to see the entire episode. It's going to be on the lower right hand or left hand corner of the screen. You're probably not going to be able to see the entire thing. We're going to try to make it as little as possible in order to fool the bot or whatever else is going on. I have t replied to the person that we are talking to in Viz Media. We're not going to divulge the name quite yet. You will see that my name and her name or his name is blurred out on the picture on my Twitter account at DJD Shadow. Please follow that by the way. There is obviously a lot you can have with following me on Twitter. And yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say to that, but please follow me on Twitter. You're gonna see a whole lot. I don't do too much on Twitter anymore. I'm still active, but not as active as I used to be. I'm haven't been as active as I have in the past couple of months, basically. However, you'll find out a lot about the videos that I've been posting, stuff like that. So we're going to do that, and when we come back, when we end the show, when we finish watching it, I'm going to give you my final thoughts, and probably a few shoutouts, something like that. We'll advertise, I'll self-advertise, I'll shamelessly advertise some things, and beg you to come watch the other stuff on my channel, and then we'll see what we do from there. A little bit of shoutouts as well to the Booney Nation. Some of the other reactors because they deserve it. They sure as hell deserve it. And yeah. And so with that having been said, hopefully we don't get in trouble. If this gets taken down, then we know there's not just a bot going on. And the toy animation before we talk about this, this may be pandering or something along those lines, but I don't I think it needs to be said to toy animation, please hear us out and please understand that these are reviews we are not trying to copyright and fringe these are us reacting and they help you out and plus it is under fair use i don't know if you understand what fair use is in japan and sadly it's something that japan needs to consider doing but yeah there is this this is a review of protecting unfair use and hopefully I don't get too much trouble for this. And hopefully you guys understand the people who have been squeamish the past couple of weeks. Hopefully this is the end of the whole copyright blitz that's going on. So, yeah. There have been a few people that have been hit that I didn't know about when I recorded the Special Report 20. But I'm rambling on here at this point. So, in any case, let's get to the actual episode that we will go and We'll start this. What the crap? Okay, <laughs> I will cut that out. So anyway, here we go. Act 15 is called Infiltration. We are in the Black Moon arc. You no doubt see Chibi Yusa is holding a gun to Yusagi. Here we go. She's not a zombie. She might be in a few moments. <laughs> Whoa! She, well, that is not a real gun! Oh, big 
Gun rights activists! Be afraid! I heard there was a new opening. Let's watch this. Oh, there we go! A little bit of... Wow. Okay, they're very interesting. Yeah! Talk about it, Sailor Pluto, babe! You know how I feel about her. I'm not gonna go any more than that. Okay, so while we wait for the ads to come back, or as to end, let's get to that. I did like the fact that we had a new intro for the most part. They replaced the Dark Kingdom with the Black Moon, but the models of the characters kind of looked really weird from that aspect of it. But yeah, from then on in, it looked okay to me, but it's fine for what it is. Let's go back to the actual episode that's going to start again. That looks like Meteor from Final Fantasy VII. And to be quite honest, Rubius looks like he's ready to go into combat. Oh, he calls the wise men here too. What's with his voice? Raise to our master! Our great and honorable master, a black cloud who we know nothing about. <laughs> sisters! Spectral sisters! So even though he hold, she held a gun to your head, early to call her a villain, right? He's really kind to that. Shows his character. But it also shows Yusagi's jealousness. It's already starting. Yep, she's jealous. She's really jealous of Luna B. Is that the Chocobo music? Really? Of course we see that! That is the... Crystal! Yep! And there's two of them. And she did that when? A legitimate child? That's the first thing that she thought of? What? I wonder what that means. Kohai? Wow! Yours seems stuck up. She looks like Ray, like Ray with different hair. You sure they didn't get separated at birth? UFO. Oh, what's that face? What was that face just now? Basically, it means you want to make a whole lot of money in Weekly World News. That's basically what it is. Whoa. This is what the hell? Holy. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to have ten, one minute in order to address everything that just happened. That whole scene, that final scene we had before the break was really cool. I like that. The other thing is Ray's getting a little bit more laid back than she used to be, yet she wasn't completely like stuck up as it was in the 90s anime. I don't know what that was about. Other than that, I'll address everything in the end of this whole thing. So, yeah, we have 24 seconds to do whatever. So, yeah, if you haven't watched my other Act 14 video is down on Daily Motion. It's getting a good bit of views. Hasn't been taken down yet. So, yeah. So, anyway, 
my time is almost up, so we're gonna go back to the story. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, okay. Oh, God. Oh, you're gonna die choking if you do that too fast. Okay. How the hell is she hanging onto the table like that? Oh, okay. Uh, as long as you pay me, I'll be okay. As long as the pay is good, I will sit here all day for you. Six more years. Start planning your trips now. Start going elsewhere now because you have no time left. Ooh, okay. This is kind of creepy. We got nuns, evil nuns. Let's see new transformations. Okay, all right. Maybe there's a little more subtle change. There, there's not much in the way of special effects. Like, none of the lightning, none of the fire, but just in, like subtle changes. Other than that, not much has changed. Which I thought it would be a whole new transformation sequence. Hers hasn't changed. Toy, you're reusing the putty monsters from Power Rangers. That is really nice. Okay, I like the fact that it is real. It's like in the cartoon instead of stock animation. I really like that suddenly. The most extreme one? In wet field? She's gonna kick your ass. Oh! Burning Mandala! So much for your putty monsters, Cone. What are you gonna do? That was a little different. Shot Aqua Illusion as if she already knew how to use it. The hell? You know what you have to scream? Holy shit, she knows how to scream and disappear, probably. Code just dot what? They're going to They're gonna kidnap her? What in the hell? Okay. I'm going to just go to the end of the episode so we can get the next trailer out there. And I'm going to give you my final thoughts on it. But that was a very interesting end to the episode. Did Cone get de destroyed? Did she get wrecked? We will find out. We will find out because there is obviously the trailer or teaser to the next episode. And then we're going to be giving you my final thoughts on it. And after that... We will do whatever else we need to do, and then, I don't know. I honestly don't. So we have 20 seconds left until we get back to it. This is more along the lines of what the Nostalgia Critic does, although not as few of intervals, perhaps. We don't know. But yeah, we'll talk a little bit about that when we get into where the final thoughts are. Yeah. We'll see if there's any difference to the finale. Which there isn't. Okay, SMC. Out with it. What are you showing us next episode? You are getting very, very sleepy. Abduction. So we're going to kidnap the sailors one at a time now? Is that what's going to happen? Let's get to what we saw out of this episode. First things first, the abduction of each sailor. Is that was where we're going to go for this episode? In these string of episodes? Because, yeah, the way 
people are now, yeah. I'm not going to go any further into that as much as I can, but did, did you see how pissed Usagi got when Mars were taken? I always said that the Black Moon has always been the one group that's always gotten under Usagi's skin. In the original anime, yes, she has gotten pretty upset at what the Black Moon was able to do in order to get into her head, get under, to, like, let a fire in her soul or whatever. Oh, and it's going to start all over again. I do enjoy it. This one thing that I always have been interested in is whether or not she actually will get enraged, whether she will get absolutely wanting to tear you a new one, tear you limb for limb. And it does seem like it's going to happen. It does seem like they're on the road for that to happen. Although it didn't, it kind of happened in a way in the, in the Dark Kingdom arc. It seems like because of my theory that the Black Moon is a one group that really pissed her off. It's the one, the, this is really going to show just how angry she could probably get. At least I hope that's the mindset that they're going in. The whole thing with Rini, or not Rini, why am I using the English dub names? Why? Chibiusa. There you go. So anybody who is upset about the English dub names are not going to get up in my grill. But Chibiusa, the one, the whole it's hypnotizing thing, didn't, it's kind of like the 90s anime. Again, we do I do not read a manga in order to give you my impressions of the actual story as whether or not it's immersive or not, and of course it is. Of course it is. It was really, it was awesome, but the Chibiusa thing, her hypnotizing everybody, anime, although I don't know if she's going to be the cousin. They didn't exactly say what the relationship was. Uh, maybe I missed it somewhere, but it doesn't seem as though we had what She's going to tell who the relation is. What she's telling everybody the relation would be. Now, as far as the other things concerned, the transformation sequences, you had a chance to change up the transformation. Why did you not do that? You changed up the intro, which is very good. However, I did do wish they changed up more in the intro instead of like near the end where they just replaced Dark Kingdom with the Black Moon and stuff like that. But it still fit its purpose. It still is fine. But the transformation sequences, you didn't change that much, if at all. Why? Why did you not do that? Oh, <sighs> they did take out a few things. They did take out Ray's fire when she transformed. They did take out Jupiter's lightning when she transformed. Which did drop the flame rate. It just plummeted the frame rate of those transformation sequences. Which is, I don't know, maybe an improvement. Maybe it was a little bit too messy in the, that sort of sense. But those were the coolest parts of it. Were the lightning and the fire. And they took them out. Why? Why did they do that? And the whole thing with the friend. I would like to know when... She would, had the time to do when Jupiter or Ma Makoto had the time to do that. Had the time to meet him. And that's going to be an interesting story because, yeah, Makoto is not known for keeping boyfriends. So, yeah, that I don't know if that's going to hold out for too long for her. When Chibi Yusa was on that swing and she launch yourself onto Mamru and we already see much of what was going on. He already took a liking to her and it does seem like we're going on that jealousy route. I don't know if we're going to do this whole thing with the vision of the future saying you need to break up with Yusagi now. I don't know if that's, that's what's going to happen. I did not know if that's how it was in the manga. It was that the original anime it was the most grating part of the anime. Of the original one. That whole thing lasted way too long. They did do some good things with it, but wow. At what point do we get to the point of that whole thing with the future self? 
So I hope that they, at least, if they're going to do that, please, please, please hurry that up, because that was the only real bad thing I saw, saw out of Sailor Moon R. Of course, yeah, and of course the jealousy in Usagi, the, je the whole thing with her being jealous, you saw already that she's calling her a brat and all that other stuff. However, y'all also see how good she is at taking care of even people who she is only acquainted to or just met or might have a little issue with. She still cares a lot. And again, continuity. That's what we ask for and we're getting it. The attacks in the actual environments instead of stock footage. Thank you. I don't know why I didn't see that before. If I missed it, I apologize. Why? Why did I not see that before? Especially in that environment. That was pretty cool effects. And of course, Burning Mandala. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That was a very good attack. Now, did they kind of use stock footage on that? Is that the way we want to go for that? Hopefully not. Hopefully they continued using Burning Medalla, stuff like that, right in the environments instead of in the original, in the stock footage, and the way they did in the original anime. So the abduction is going to be interesting. The way they're going to do this is going to be very interesting. The way that whether or not Cone died, we had that illusion about the Shinretto. Are we going to have the same thing happen with the sisters? If they are going to do the same thing here, would they think they're dead? then please do not do what you did with the Shinueto because they stayed alive in the original anime. Do not do it. Do not even think about it. You're going to keep them alive, keep them alive indefinitely because, yeah, they ended up being pretty good characters in the original anime. Please don't screw this up because you nearly did. You nearly did in the first arc. Do not do the same thing again. Learn from your mistakes. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else I need to say about this particular episode. It was a very good episode. Not much in the way of animation mistakes. I do think up close, when we saw the sailors up close doing the scene at the par at the ice cream parlor. Hmm. I don't. I don't know. Perhaps it was just the way they did the storybook and the manga mode things going on there. But that was the only real thing I took issue with. And of course the during the opening, I did see that the models of the Black Moon guys were kind of odd, but that was just me being me. And though it's not a bad thing, it does like they reused the idea from for the Putty Monsters. I don't know. I can't remember what they were called exactly. Putty something. The Putty Monsters from Power Rangers, the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, they reused some inspiration from that to use on the monsters that Cone had. I'm wondering where if that's where they got them. I wonder if that's the idea behind it. But if it is, then it's obviously a good thing because they were pretty, pretty interesting looking creatures. So they took them and they redid them in a way. Then hey, more power to them because hey, those were memorable foot soldiers in the way as yeah <laughs> I don't know if I should call them foot soldiers but that's what they were speaking of foot soldiers Crimson Rubius you look like you're ready to go out to war with that those fatigue pants on don't know what the whole idea was behind that but I would rather them and kept solid color pants instead of those I don't know why it just looks odd to me okay so now I'm done now I'm completely done with talking about Sailor Moon Crystal Act 15. Go watch it. The full episode on Hulu, Crunchyroll, Nico Dico. Good thing. Before I go, please watch all the other Sailor Moon Crystal Reactors. Oh, my rogue, Gaylor Moon, Sailor Spunky Bunny, Sailor Boy. I always screw that up. Please, please, please forgive me if I screwed that up. Akira, especially RPG. Thank you very much for everybody who has given all of us support, by the way, during this trying time right now. Thank you so very much for continuing to support all of us, what we do, how we do it, because we are here to not only inform you, but to 
give you what you've been asking for for the longest time and we will continue to do it because one you deserve it two you deserve to be informed the right of the consumer and three because it is what we like to do we like to entertain we like to inform we like to make videos we like to do all that other stuff and much more so Go support those reactors, so support them by subscribing, favoring, liking their videos, and my own as well. I'm going to do some shameless self-plugging in here in a minute, but support all of those. Support Amber, support Bunny and Boy, support Peachy, support all of those other people, even if you don't necessarily agree with all of them, you know, because we all have our own little opinions, and see if their reactions match your own. That's the beauty of it. So, last thing I want to say before I go is shameless self-plugging. Go watch the other videos. If you haven't seen any other videos that I have done, now's the time to do it. I am doing, trying to do once a day, maybe two. I almost screwed up. Last Monday, I almost screwed up. I put up Life is Strange, the second episode and then the one later on the day I posted the Five Nights at Freddy's highlight reel part one I'm going to try to get part up two up here soon and you might like the format that I did for that also Twitch I am on Twitch go follow me on Twitch I'm going to do a lot more on Twitch I'm actually probably going to do stuff when I'm done here on Twitch when I'm done editing this video out I'm probably going to be on Twitch also there's also the Battlefield Hardline Beta, the immediate reactions. Go watch that. I'm trying to do more of the Get Out of Hell playthrough. Please go watch that. I'm going to try to get Darkest Dungeon started. I have bought that as well. And I've also bought the original Five Nights at Freddy's. That is scaring the living hell out of me, and I haven't even gotten to the part where the guy with the target is going to try to eat my face. Just looking at it is a frightening mindset. I thought the last of the second one had some good atmosphere. This one definitely does. Because you don't have the flashlight. You're not going back and forth, back and forth. I can understand the second one now. I can understand how you're supposed to go. But I've gotten to the sixth night, but okay. Oh well. But again, go watch those videos. Go subscribe. Go share a favorite. Like those videos. And the other Sailor Moon Crystal Reactors, they do a great job. They do an awesome job. Please go do that. And I'm rambling at this point. So you know what? I am going to sign off for right now because yeah if I go anymore I'm just going to repeat myself over and over and over and over next episode is abduction sale of mercury that's going to happen a few weeks from now we'll see you at that point stay tuned for a lot of other videos I might actually do a leveling up with JD Shadow on Guild Wars 2 Oh, that reminds me. One more thing. Tuesday, there might not be a video. The reason why is that I bought. If you haven't seen my Twitter, I bought new video cards. By this time, two weeks from now, you will see me rocking SLI 970s. It'll be so much better than what I got now. Let's put it that way. Holy, you might be some major changes. I cannot wait. Although I do have to place the power supply to do it, so we're going to do that as well, and hopefully I don't blow everything up, but if everything goes according to plan, which I no doubt think it will, then you're going to see me do a hell of a lot more videos in a hell of a lot more quality. Because it's about time. This thing I bought in 2011 needs to be replaced. It is a 6870. It was bought in 2011. I am ready to retire it. So, yeah. It is time. So, anyway, there you go. There was my impressions of Sailor Moon Crystal Act 15 Infiltration Sailor Mars. Go watch the other videos as well. And watch the other Crystal Reactors. Omar Rogues, Monkey Bunny, Sailor Boy, AP, Sailor Moon. You guys know who else is out there. Sweetie Bloom, also, if you haven't talked to Viz Media yet, do that. If you're watching and you haven't seen, known what's going on yet, please go talk to them. Sailor Moon and A. That's who you gotta talk to on Twitter. Anyway, thank you for watching. My name is Shady Shadow, and that just happened.